it can be hard enough to make sure your kids are taking care of their teeth. But how do we make sure that our pets are practicing good dental hygiene as well? That's what Boaz Frankel was wondering. He's got a furry friend who's in need of some dental advice. Take a look. This is my dog, Kip. He's a terrier mutt that we adopted about five years ago, and he's a talented dog. Roll over. Over. Get through. Good boy. But one area where Kip lacks is his mouth. He doesn't have many teeth left. We don't know what happened to those teeth, but we want to make sure to keep those remaining teeth healthy. So what are the best things you can do to keep your pet's teeth healthy? To get some answers, I'm headed to East End Veterinary Center in Shadyside to talk with Dr. Berner. Why is dental hygiene important for pets? <laughs> So that's a, that's a really good question. Um, a lot of people think about the mouth as being kind of isolated and kept yeah. to itself, but the bacteria that grow on the tartar can affect the liver, the kidneys, the heart, and statistically, dogs and cats who have healthy mouths live about two years longer than those without. So we're looking at Kip's dental chart right here, and so how many teeth does he have left? <laughs> so Kip has one tooth left on the, on the top, and he's got eight teeth left on the bottom, so a total so of nine. Everyone that circles is a teeth that's not there anymore. Correct. As a pet owner, what can I be doing, you know, to take better care of my dog's teeth. Yeah, yeah. So I know Kip Kip doesn't have a whole lot of yeah. teeth left, but but brushing is the number one thing that you can do at home. Um, and veterinary dentists recommend doing that twice a day, which I know can be can be difficult, yeah. but but certainly does make a difference, just like it does for us. And the dental chews that are specifically designed for chewing make a big difference too, especially if they're given for the appropriate size. So a lot of those come in like the teeny ones right. and the giant ones and it makes a difference. We do generally recommend avoiding things that are hard. So you wanna veer away from your deer antlers and your bones because they can crack teeth on those. Like how are dog and cat mouths and teeth different? Um, so there are a lot of similarities between okay. cat and dog mouths. Dogs have more teeth than cats do. Um, and cats, cats like to form resorptive lesions, which we can see in all species. But resorptive lesions are basically a condition where, where the body is resorbing the teeth. What? Yeah. yeah. That sounds like a horror movie. <laughs> like the cat's mouth is resorbing the teeth? Yep. Yep, and so so when those are only affecting the roots, they don't seem to be painful. Cats don't seem to be bothered by it. But when those lesions extend onto the crown of the tooth, they hurt. Oh, and yeah. so those teeth, they're, unfortunately, they're not savable at that point. So should you be brushing your cat's teeth also? Yeah, the left, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be hard. <laughs> but all of those other, other things that you can do at home for your dogs, you can do for your cats too. They, okay. do, they do make dental chews for cats as well. And is there something you can be looking out for um, in your pets that they might be signaling to you like, yeah, there's something wrong in here, help me out? Yeah, yeah. So depending on, on your individual pets, some are happy to have your fingers in their mouths yeah. and kind of playing around with their faces. And, and for those guys, if you're looking in their mouths and you happen to see like a red line right along the edge of the gums, mm -hmm. um, that that's gingivitis so that's an indicator that there's there's something going on in there yeah also if you see more tartar build up on one side of the mouth than the other that suggests there's a problem on the side with more tartar is there anything that kip can't do with i don't know how many dozens of teeth he's missing <laughs> yeah so they start with 42 teeth wow um, and having nine he's he doesn't have a whole lot of occlusion left which a lot of people worry about dogs being able to chew but mm -hmm. but even with no teeth in the mouth, these guys can eat their, their dry food and do all their normal dog things. What can we be doing specifically to take care of those remaining nine teeth? Yeah, so so as much as he'll let you, brushing his teeth will still make a difference. Yeah. And because, again, he doesn't have that occlusion, um, so he's got those teeth on the bottom but nothing on the top to meet mm -hmm. with, those teeth are going to build tartar faster than they did before. Okay. Um, so, so, yeah, definitely doing doing regular home care um, does does help. Good. Well, thanks so much, Doctor. Sure. This is very helpful. Sure. Kip, yeah, great news. I know how to take care of your teeth. And now I'm wondering why all toothpaste for humans is mint flavored. I think I'd be interested in a peanut butter flavored toothpaste too. Come on, buddy, you're doing great. 
That is so, we were just laughing because he's letting him do it. Dr. Berner made a helpful video too with a step-by-step -step guide to brushing your pet's teeth. We've got a link to that on our website, kdqa.com slash talk Pittsburgh. And Boaz is now here in the studio. Unfortunately, you didn't bring Kip with you. How long did he let you brush? You know, it's not his favorite thing in the world, yeah. but he, you know, he, he lets us go for a minute or so. The peanut butter helps for sure. Yeah, uh, I, I was sort of like, I was like, I just want to take a little taste of this. Like it sort of smells good. Did you? I did not yet. Uh, <laughs> I'll save that for a future okay. segment. Well, you did bring with you today our Mystery Monday artifact. So tell us a little bit about it. Right, it's time for another Mystery Monday. I've got this unique artifact. I'm not going to show it to you quite yet, but judging by the comments on Facebook, this one had a lot of folks scratching their heads. I'm going to show you a closer look in a few minutes and share some of those responses. I think this might be the week that you're going to guess it on the first try, Heather. What do you think? I don't think so. I saw it. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to find out after the break.